All right, just a quick addendum here to the uh, Starship texture tutorial. Um, these days, as you know, Starships aren't just round. They can have all kinds of weird squish shapes. So if we know that shape in advance, we can go ahead and uh, squish our texture to it, but we're going to have a guide for that. So this is going to be the shape of our, our saucer. And uh, let's say I'm going to keep that in the swap image and go back to the, uh, the texture here I'm working with and... Um, I'm not going to work on layers. I'm going to use the swap image. I, I'm more comfortable with that. And uh, swap image isn't a proper layer exactly, but it can do many layer-like things. And it's actually a lot more flexible than layers because it can do all kinds of other things. Um, so I want to see that, though. I want to be able to see it while I'm working. So instead of going to the layer panel, I'm going to go up here right next to the, um, right next to the swap. And there's a little drop down and turn on swap mixing. And that way I can just uh, see what I'm doing. Um, just like layers, you can set all the layer modes and that sort of thing. And you can merge them and that kind of thing. So um, now that I can see that, I'm going to go to transform. Or I could just do this with uh, free transform. But I, I'll use the, the filter here for a little variety. I'm going to go to... Um, uh, I think it's called perspective warp. And use that free transform might be a little easier and i'm going to go ahead and uh, start warping this onto my shape until i get it to fill that shape appropriately and i'm not going to worry about getting this completely symmetrical can i i can always mirror this um but that's pretty close i'm gonna hit okay and like I said, that's just a quick way to uh, uh, get your, your textures right. So let me go to mirror. And you can mirror on either axis. Um, that's kind of funny. I might want to transform that a little bit because it's a little bit off center. Uh, let's see. Like I said, it might have been better if I used a free transform. Well, you get the idea anyway, so that is, uh, let's see, I'll go to, that is a quick, I actually forget where free transform has gone to, so it's in here somewhere, there it is, so that is a quick trick to getting your, your texture sorted, um, like I said before, you can, you can scale and, uh, warp this there's a little button here that lets you do that perspective warp like this and so on so i uh, hope that's been uh, informative thanks for watching and talk to you later